I'm back, and just like that thing on your uncle's lip with a vengeance. Now, I will admit this video is kind of out of the blue, but considering I haven't uploaded in a week, and I've been getting asked quite a bit on how I make my thumbnails, which, by the way, if you guys haven't joined my Discord, all my thumbnails are going to be reposted in my Discord, so that way everyone can download them as wallpapers, whether it being for your phone or your desktop. Now, I can't promise that they're going to be perfectly resized dimension-wise in comparison to your phone and your computer, but if you guys have been watching the channel for a while now, we don't know what perfection means. I said it. And after this video, you're going to understand just how far we are from that concept. But without further ado, let's pull this curtain back and show you guys how the magic is created, if you will. So first and foremost, you're obviously going to need a couple of things. Starting off with the sound, this is the most important part of every video, right? You can have 4K gameplay, but if your mic is shitty, no one is going to be around. So with that being said, while you do want to be able to be heard and provide a solid experience, you also want to be able to stand out from the crowd. So a nice middle ground that I would suggest is find a very faulty mic from 2009. I'm talking like an Xbox 360 level of mic quality if it crackles or is easy to have clip. Even better. You know, obviously in today's day and age, while everyone has radio quality and a bolsterous personality and fancy editing, you don't have any of that, right? Your stick comes from you sounding like you're from a golden age that died a long time ago. Because your audio is so shitty, you're naturally going to sound much more aggressive. And if there's anything I learned from my older brother, aggression is just a sign of interest. It's going to sound like this, and I'm going to show you how to fix that later. So you're obviously making ground here. Now, if you're playing on console, there's some other things you're going to need. A capture card. I use an HC60 Mark. Two, I think is what it's called. It's the 4K one. No, none of my videos are in 4K. It's just a flex because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Besides that, I'd also recommend getting a controller that's been through some shit. Look at mine, for example. It's got some scuff marks on the left-hand side. The analog sticks or drift. The one on the right-hand side, for some reason, sticks. And my R2 button is just a massive flex. I mean, look at that. It's been through some shit. I can't tell you how many kill streaks I got in, in Minecraft. And you might be asking, does it still work? Quick, ask me, does it work? Just like the day I got it. If not, then obviously, you know, if you're playing on PC, then all you need is OPS or Shadow Player, or whatever you want to use to record. I use OBS, nothing special. Two other things you're going to need are liquor and lots of it. Now, I'm personally a whiskey man myself, but as you'll find out in a couple seconds, we don't discriminate here. I'm Mexican, so naturally I got to put some type of tequila up here. Any bottle here will do. Uh, we actually have more in the house, but like the typical alcoholic will say, I don't have enough room to showcase it all. So just pick a bottle. You're also going to notice there's no cups or shot glasses because we drink straight from the bottle here. So just pick a bottle, take a couple swigs. These ones are good choices though. Um, helps deal with the kids, you know? That was actually pretty good. I gotta pace myself, I drank the whole little bottle. And now we're good to get some gameplay. That's it, that, I, IGN gameplay, done. I'm going to bed. I almost forgot to mention, when you're playing and drinking, of course, you wanna have your mic on recording all the random stupid shit that you're saying. Somewhere in that hour long play session or however long you were playing, there's gonna be a topic that's brought up that you can then repurpose to bitch about in the morning. All right, let's listen to the stupid shit I said last night together. Although I feel like there should be a disclaimer. This is not allowed to be used in any court of law. This is drunk ramblings, that all it is. Let's listen. <laughs> Fuck this stupid ass bitch. Job won't give me a pay raise saying I touched her. Bullshit. She was asking for it. <laughs> Fucking dumbass cunt. It hurts. The pandemic is, is taking everything from me. <sighs> now fuck that. I'm gonna stab that bitch and bury the carcass. They ain't never gonna find it. I'm gonna tell them that the accusations just hurt. I feel betrayed. Got it carcass video and that's how I came up with that video you get the topic you take the audio you cut it move it around you throw it in audacity to help clean it up a little bit and then that's how you get this nice better sounding microphone in a nutshell <laughs> fuck this stupid ass bitch fuck this stupid ass carcass <laughs> bullshit I feel betrayed the pandemic won't give me a bitch Ah yes, the pandemic won't give me a bitch. Not entirely unrelatable, but there's some more work that needs to be done, but that's the gist of how these videos are made. It goes from an incoherent rambling mess to a bunch of jump cuts that makes it all one cohesive story of love, 
betrayal, confusion. Now the last step to make a cynic video obviously is you gotta blind the audience. Now if you're on comps when you have an HDR TV then I would just say up the fuck out of all the whiteness. Just eliminate contrast but not everyone has an HDR setup so that sucks. Although again if you have HDR it basically does all the work for you. You don't have to do it in the editing. But for those on PC or those that don't have an HDR TV what you're gonna do is you're gonna record the gameplay like normal. I'm not known for my gameplay. I'm rather mediocre so it doesn't matter. The audience doesn't have to see what's going on. So what you're gonna do is take the gameplay throw it in the editing software then you're gonna completely push your brightness your saturation and your color corrector just wherever the sliders are just push them all the way to the right it doesn't matter it's fine your end product if done correctly should look something like this beautiful unique gameplay instantly they know it's a cynic production stamp of approval uh oh cynic don't forget to kill that tyrant Now we just render this bitch. And while we wait for that to finish, let's segue to this video sponsor. Twitch. It's a new dating app for tweakers. That's all I have on this ad read. And now we have the final step, the thumbnail. There's been so many times where I couldn't come up with a thumbnail, so I had a video uploaded for like four days just because I couldn't figure out what the hell to have as a thumbnail. And if you look at my channel, all my thumbnails have nothing to do with anything. All it says is shiny objects are cool. You can make anything reflective, honestly. You can make a rock reflective if you really wanted to. I wanted to make a pair of ass cheeks reflective, but all the pictures I'm finding are completely naked. So with that in mind and the fact that it's 7 a.m. when it cuts to the short version, I use Photoshop and the basic way of doing this is you wanna take whatever reflective image that you want, in this case, the Slayer's helmet, and then you're gonna duplicate that layer. The layer on top, you're going to highlight whatever you want to be reflected and then you're gonna cut it out and then you're going to basically make it invisible. Then you're gonna bring in whatever image you want to reflect in the Slayer's visor and put that on top of the first image. It should look like this and then Right after that, you're gonna enable the image of the visor that you cut out and lower that image's opacity so that way you can see the reflected picture that you wanna see. So in a less confusing, less drunk way, you're gonna take the Slayer's helmet, duplicate it, and on the top layer, you're gonna cut out his visor. And then you're gonna take whatever image you want to be reflected in the visor and put in between the visor you cut out and the original image that you duplicated. And then you wanna lower the opacity of the visor that you cut out. So that way you can see through the visor, but the background image is still solid. So it gives this false impression that the image that you sandwiched between the bottom and the top is actually being reflected. When it's not, at least that's the way I go about it. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it, but that's my inebriated mind trying to piece shit together. But there you guys go, that's a cynic video in a nutshell. Uh, of course, you're missing the final step, which is you want to blow the saturation and exposure out of the water on the thumbnails as well. You know, really seal the deal there, letting it be known loud and proud that this is my shitty content.